Also to reiterate to all the people commenting right now, because again, I'll say it for like the 10th time, in no way me posting my abuse is trying to justify what I did, is trying to make an excuse for what I did. All I'm posting it for is to shed light on the person that you guys are defending so crazy and going so hard for because he's not the best person in life either. Of course, two wrongs don't make a right. You're absolutely correct. This in no way, shape, or form is trying to give you guys that. All that it's doing is showing you guys who this person is before you send me death threats and all types of other shit in my DMs and messages and comments. People don't want to believe me. Here's my discharge papers from the hospital the day that everything happened. I'm going through it quickly because I don't want you guys to see my information. Um, but yes, this is all of that. Then this is the proof of me getting the restraining order, my statements to the police, everything, my whole entire statement. This is my domestic incident notice from March, from when he did what he did. Um, just the information from the court. All of that. We also did a criminal sexual assault because of some other reasons that I thought something happened. And then this is the last thing I'm going to say because I know he's just gotten on his live and he's sending, showing you guys videos of me being drunk and all that shit. And that's going to be the, the excuse because it's the excuse he, he's been giving for this thing that happened in March for the longest time. Um, you know, that night I said it in my picture and in my caption. I was drunk. I was incoherent. Um that those markings were not from what was happening right then and there those markings happened while we were in our hotel room that night after his birthday um again choose what you guys want to believe i don't care i know what's the truth i know what i woke up to i know what i saw i know what i went to the police for period and no one's gonna tell my story and tell you know what my abuse was from what the fuck i felt and what the fuck i experienced so Believe what you want, guys. I said my piece. Yeah, I'm good. I'm real good. She, had no, she didn't have bruises on her face. If you read the police report, I'm driving a car. She takes a bag, hit me in the face with the bag. I'm driving. We in traffic. She going crazy. And she has sundress on. I'm holding her like this by her chest with my hand like that. I haven't said one bad thing about that girl doing this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I haven't said one bad thing about Ryan doing this whole thing. I haven't said sh about neither one of them. Bad. You know what I'm saying? Why she post them pictures, man? I years old and she know what the fuck that. Check my post. People don't want to believe me. Here is my discharge papers from the hospital the day that everything happened. I'm going through it quickly because I don't want you guys to see my information. Um, but yes, this is all of that. Then this is the proof of me getting the restraining order, my statements to the police, everything, my whole entire statement. This is my domestic incident notice from March from when he did what he did um just the information from the court all of that we also did a criminal sexual assault because of some other reasons that I thought something happened in case y'all wanted to see information there's your information and your proof people proof had the pictures printed for court for court Okay, court, court photos, all the photos, like, come on now.